Hey, welcome back, Petapixel viewers. It is Chris Nichols here. And it's the tall, hot one. Jordan's here, too. For sakes. Anyways, uh, this is the moment you guys were waiting for. We brought it to Petapixel. It is our best and worst stuff 2023 10 year anniversary. 10 years? Where did the time go? Yeah, I can tell you where it went. Now, before we get into the best and worst of 2023, I want to talk about audio. They're our music sponsor for the Petapixel show. You've heard some of the music already. You're going to hear a whole bunch of it throughout this whole video. Now, audio will give you an entire catalog of music. You can use it for personal work, for client work. We've been loving using it here as well. And we have an amazing deal for you right now. So you can get a lifetime subscription to their entire catalog. Normally, it's $4.99, but right now it is $1.99. And this is an exclusive deal that you can only get through Petapixel right now. So you never have to worry about paying anything down the line. You don't have to worry about subscription fees. You're just gonna get a lifetime access, 199. Click in our exclusive link in the description below and get started with audio today. Okay, so every year, if you guys have been following us, we always have a drink that we do throughout our games. And uh, just to give context, it's 10 in the morning. This is the only time that we could get our 10 friends- 10 in the morning for 10th anniversary. <laughs> Levi and Alex to, to help us out today. So we're gonna get day drunk on mimosas because we're brunching it. Say when. Just, just color it. All right, cheers. Yeah. We're not gonna get day drunk on mimosas. That's ridiculous. No, our friends at Toolshed Brewing have offered to have us here for our best and worst stuff. It's amazing. We are gonna get day drunk on their fantastic beers. Let's Thank go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. All right, so we got our beers. I'm going with Toolshed's Pete's Pills. Fantastic. I'm what about going you? with late to the party because we're running behind schedule. We are, absolutely. Now, we have our beers, but we even more importantly have our Alex Mitchell. Mm. Everyone should have one. Yes, absolutely. Alex was a fantastic ref on last year's Best and Worst. Now, Alex did a whole bunch of video games for us last year, but this time Good it's episode. been different for our 10th anniversary. Alex, you're going to choose four of your favorite games that we've already done. Is that right? That is true. I've gone through the archives and picked the best four games that I think will work for this year, plus an extra fifth game. Oh, that we don't know about. All right. Well, this is going to be good. So let's get to the competition. Can I gouge his eyes out and pull his hair? No, nah, I want some good, clean competition today, fellas. What if he enjoys it? <laughs> What's the first game? All right. So as the day progresses, I imagine it's going to be harder and harder for these guys to remember things. So we're going to start off round one with some nice, simple movie trivia. 10 questions here. I'm gonna give each of you five questions. Okay. If you don't get one, or if you take a pass on it, I'm gonna let the other person go in for a steal, okay? Oh, we get an hour to answer each question. Yes, exactly, Perfect. yeah, yeah. Let's well, move. It's an open book. In what Canadian film do a small group of strangers have to find their way out of a series of small rooms with increasingly deadly puzzles? Trick question, Canadians don't make films. <laughs> uh, that is the movie Cube, or Hyper Cube, or Super Hyper Cube. I would have just accepted Cube, or yes. The Cube, and but I know Cube that is one. correct. That's okay. It's okay. So, Chris, in the Keanu Reeves classic, Speed, what speed does the bus need to stay above? I'll give you four options here. 30 miles per hour, 40 miles per hour, 50, or 50 miles per hour, or 55 miles per 55 hour. 55 miles per hour. I'm going to say 40 miles per hour. It is 50 miles per oh. hour. Sorry, guys. When you see a Pixar movie, the eye in the Pixar is squished by a curious little lamp. What is the name of that lamp? The name of that lamp is Luxo Jr. Nailed it. <laughs> I have children, so I know things. <laughs> also, it's the name of the short film that the, the uh, first they, one. The, yeah. I make my children watch Tarkovsky films exclusively, <laughs> so they don't know these things. <laughs> okay, Chris. Yes. What? Dogma 95 inspired English horror movie is beloved by indie filmmakers for being shot on mini DV. Oh, 28 Days Later? Nailed it. Jordan. This 1996 film starring Ralph Fiennes and Juliette Binoche was the first film edited on a computer to win an Academy Award for That editing. is The English Patient. Nailed it. I knew that one too. Can you ask me the questions that you're normally going to ask Jordan? <laughs> I slipped him 30 bucks. Oh, I maybe did. <laughs> okay, Chris. Released in two parts, this Steven Soderbergh directed biopic was the first commercially released feature film to be shot on the Red One digital cinema camera. No idea. It's Shay, baby! <laughs> this 2009 sci fi film starring Sam Rockwell was directed by David Bowie's son. The Moon. Damn it! 
Texan filmmaker Richard Linklater is yes. famous for the Before trilogy of movies. Before Sunset, Before Midnight, Before Sunrise. What order were they released in? It was Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and then Before Midnight. I just rewatched all these with my wife, and they are masterpieces. <laughs> just watched them. Okay, that's yes, that's five King two. Of movie. Yep. yep. Congratulations. Congrats, Drink. guys. Kill that right oh, now. Yeah, right. You <laughs> lost. <laughs> Kill it. Okay, so we're going to start with Best and Worst of 2023 with lenses. Before we get to that, I'm now drinking a Tool Shed Red Rage because I lost that last game. So number three, we are going to give it to the Nikon Nikkor 135mm Plena, Jordan? Plena. 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 This is a beautiful lens. Now, unlike the Nikkor Noct, which we made a unit of measurement, that was an amazing lens, but very few people would ever need it. This 135 millimeter is an infinitely useful focal length for environmental portraiture, commercial work, and it's again showing that Nikkor are masters at making beautiful optical formulas. So much so that it's become another unit of measurement for us, hasn't it? It's annoying. It's great. The second best lens of the year, I have got to give it to Sigma with their new 14 millimeter f1.4. I, mean, I agree. A few years ago, Nikon brought out their 14.18, which was one of our favorite lenses, but then Sigma made it two thirds of a stop faster, but actually really quite affordable. So if you're into astrophotography and you're shooting L or E mount, you should probably already own this lens. And if you don't, go buy it now. Okay, but now it's time for number one best lens of 2023. This has been a year for Sony. I mean, the 1635 G Master 2.8 version 2, the 70 to 200 F4 G Master. They've got lenses like the 50 mil 1.4. I mean, the 300 mil 2.8, the first 300 we've seen on a mirrorless platform. I mean, for full frame, I got to make sure I get that in. But I'm going with my favorite lens of this year. It is the Sony 20 to 70 F4. This is everything I love in a lens. It was sharp, it's very nice with that wide versatile range. It's optically fantastic and it's compact. So any, I think I said that already, 20 to 70 F4, beautiful lens, my favorite of 2023. I and agree. If, and if you don't agree, you can pick one of the other five Sony lenses they made this year. They're really killing it. Okay, now that round one has really limbered everybody up, we're gonna go with some nice easy surgery and a game of operation. I did bad at this last time. Yeah, I won last time, and I'm hoping to win again this time. So what are the rules here? So the rules of the game are one person tells the other person what piece they have to remove from okay. the board. You have to use these little tweezers here to extract the piece without touching the sides of the hole. But right. if you do wind up making contact with the hole, you get that little vibration right. okay. and the light I, lights I, What do I do? Do I drink? Uh, so, so if I do this, I drink? You buzz, if, you drink. Yeah, Ooh. if you buzz, you drink. Yeah, And then the first person to get And I do this, I drink? Okay. <laughs> The first person to get to three pieces extracted without hitting the sides wins the round. You have to get the belt. No! Uh, how did you not Whoa. touch Whoa, all like, right. I thought I saw you touch it three, five, three or four times. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, what do I go for? Uh, you're going to go for the toilet. <laughs> oh! Yeah! Ah. Try again. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, I think it's Jordan's yep. turn. This squiggly gross thing. Perfect, thank you. Yes! Oh. oh, yes. <laughs> oh! That's how you... That, that's it. Uh, you are going for the puppy. The puppy. Mm, here we go. Oh! Whoa. Oh my god, Damn. such finesse, such grace. We actually have a game going again. This is exciting. I'm not drinking. Call call it. Oh yeah, right. Um All right, Kevorkian, let's you see get what the you toilet can bowl, do. Bro. Do the surgeons put their arms on the patient? I don't think so. Yeah, mm -hmm. When the patients are we have no, no idea what they Did do. Did you not buzz there? What the Damn. Okay, all right. Guys drinking the malpractice IPA over here. I guess you I guess you got to kill that. It's okay. As a penalty kick, uh, I'll go get myself a Belgian-style beer. Uh, You're not really even done strong. your beer. It's your first I don't point. have to drink it because I won, mother <laughs> All right, I've got the strongest beer that they make, and that's the time to get into the best video cameras of the year. So at number three, we have the Panasonic G9 II. Now, I was a huge fan of the GH6, but right after it came out, Panasonic introduced their phase detect autofocus system, which made a huge difference. So the G92 becomes the first micro four thirds camera with incredible video quality, but also the phase detect autofocus. And it's very quickly become my favorite camera to use to shoot our show, which means it's definitely worthy of a nomination. Not just a nomination, but third place. So number two. Hmm is the Nikon Z8. Now we gave the Nikon Z9 
best video camera last year, but the Z8 does everything the Z9 does in a more compact package. You're getting brilliant 4K resolution. 4K 60 is even good. 4K 20 is not, 120 is not bad. You can even shoot 8K on this, but you also get N-Log, internal RAW, and then you combine it with the fact that the Nikon Z8 is such a fantastic photo camera as well. It represents excellent hybrid value. So, Z9 takes number one last year, Z8 comes in at a very close number two. I actually had to go back and check that it came out this year, but my favorite video camera of the year is the Panasonic S5 II, but the X version, it's not that much more, and you get some really cool video Because features. it looks cool. I mean, yes, I love the G9 II, but there's no arguing for like a very similar price. You can get a full frame camera, beautiful image quality, all those Panasonic Open assist. Open gate. Like Open gate, all those assist tools that I absolutely love. And uh, it's actually quite affordable. Like The logo's blacked out. It's a great camera for the price. I mean, yeah, it's a clear winner. Although, you know, Z8's cool, uh, this thing's cheaper. So more people can get it, which will make more video people happy. I don't know, what am I even saying? What's the next game, Alex? So I'm biased. The video game round is always gonna be my favorite. I dragged my favorite game console of all time, the GameCube out here, and I'm gonna get these guys to play something special. All right, so I've lined up one of my favorite games of all time for you guys here. This is Super Monkey Ball on the original GameCube. I've now, never played it. It's, you're gonna have a blast. We're gonna be playing a game called you're gonna Monkey have a Fight. Ball. Hey, oh, I see what you did there. Um, oh, hey, food's coming. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be best of three, okay. no computerized opponents, it's just you guys. Do I fill it with the gray thingy or the yellow thingy? You wanna go with the gray, gray thingy, thingy and the big green button green there, button. okay? I can do that. All right, and... I can still see color. Go. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. Yeah, What's the video the game? Have we oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Come on, Chris. He almost got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's tied. What a goddamn delight this is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. First round goes to Chris. How many rounds are we doing? Uh, best to three. Okay. So right. it's I'll one zero this, right now. I'll just win the second round and we're good. Raging <laughs> comeback coming Here we right go. now. <laughs> Burn in hell, Simeon! Oh, <laughs> no, look, I'm getting stuck behind the wall. Yeah. Oh, number one. Come here. Just, just punch. This is the tiebreaker, guys. Oh my god, 20 seconds, you guys. Tiebreaker. No! <laughs> this literally could not be more down to the wire. Oh, oh my god! Jordan, you've got eight seconds! Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> eight seconds. Holy How did you get ahead by 20 points? Or by 10 yeah, points? I hit him the hardest! Yes! Oh my god, I know dude. How, and it makes no sense, but I won because huh. the game says so. Wow. This game doesn't make any sense. That was that was a goddamn nail bite. Well, I can't guys. win now. That's three in a row. I don't know any other way to say it. You are currently three to nothing. So, would you say there's any possibility Chris could win at this point? I believe that uh, you know, by the terms of mathematics, you are well, the de facto the winner. Video, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Next year, Jordan, we're doing competitive fly fishing, competitive reloading, and competitive target shooting. And then the trivia is going to be all about firearms. Sure. I mean, Perfect. the way you're losing this year, I'll take Jeez. the hit next year. All right, number three, best camera. So, you know, if I if I think back on the the most fun I had on on this last year, it would probably be the Leica M11 Monochrome. What? Yes. No, we said Leica. I thought no. you meant the Leica Q3. Not the Q3, the Monochrome, because it's limited in the best way possible. Interchangeable lenses, fantastic interface, beautiful black and white files with just a, a hint of better image quality than you get on the color sensor. And I the most important thing is I love the experience of shooting it, of using it. Um, no, the okay, fact no, that we were no, fly fishing. No. In Montana, reasons. didn't hurt. Levi, bring the camera over to me. I'm gonna. Okay. No, no, no. 
So the Leica Q3, the great thing about this is you're getting the best of what Leica is known for, which is their fantastic optics. I love the color that comes out of it. Yeah, but you but get one modern, optic. Modern conveniences. You get autofocus on this that actually which works is for really losers. nicely right now. Uh, you get close-up focusing. You which get, like, is for losers. The, the, the manual focus control and everything feels like it's a classic camera, but you're getting the best of everything, including an EVF. So you can it is a great camera. Compose the EVF is great. things. You don't have to but worry about the experience Alex. of shooting Alex, I it. want your opinion. You need to adjudicate yeah this. okay so Alex before we lose our personal and business relationship you have to reference I still I like you even if you're bad at games oh <laughs> stop you're so you're so insecure so the M11 monochrome I mean interchangeable lenses it frees your creative potential it's an enjoyable experience I can do more Fixed kinds of photography mirrorless camera with all the best models. but you features. could argue that if you're gonna buy a niche camera the whole point about spending the extra money is you're getting a unique shooting experience which the M11 range Finder gives you the, the Leica Q3 is Alex a great camera, wins. but it's a mirrorless camera experience you get from other brands. I want to hear from Nobody can Alex. touch the range finder. I want to hear from my good friend Alex. You, you guys are both making incredibly compelling arguments. And the thing that I find really interesting about both the cameras you're talking about is they impose limitations to sort of, uh, you know, like make yes. the shooter more creative. Yes, correct. Me personally, you love Citizen Kane, a black and white movie, therefore the I have always wins. been a sucker for monochromatic oh, imagery. Yes. And and also too for just how how much of a throwback a monochromatic digital sensor is. I love being able to throw color filtration in front of a lens to adjust. Maybe the sky needs to be darker. Maybe the foliage you needs to be darker. You know what? That's the only one I care about. This whole I'm episode, so angry that's the only one I care about. Okay. <laughs> the second best photo camera of the year actually makes sense for me to do it because it's also a fantastic video camera. But no, 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 photos. The Fujifilm XS20 was such a great value and that's something that I you know we always talk about the really high-end stuff when we get to the best of the year but this does everything really well and really they addressed our two main complaints about the XS10 like the XS10 had bad battery life this thing doesn't XS10 uh, something about autofocus that's the other one uh, autofocus is now much better on the XS20 good price and if you're a Fujifilm user I think it's probably their most well-rounded camera right now number two it may not be a giant surprise, but we're going to give number one camera of the year to the Nikon Z8. I mean, when I first got my hands on this, I was impressed by how it takes all the best things of the Nikon Z9, having no mechanical shutter whatsoever, fast readout speeds, a largely eliminates rolling shutter, but in a more compact body. That was my main critique of the Z9. Took it out wildlife shooting. The autofocus is effective. The camera stood up to snow and rain. It was rugged. It was easy enough to carry anywhere. Beautiful lens choices available from Nikon. And it's both a great video and stills camera as we've already discussed. So the Nikon Z8, whatever kind of situation you're going to find yourself in, it can handle the task. It can do it adroitly. Beautiful image quality. You had it's to just, slip adroitly. I love it. adroitly. I love that <laughs> word. Anyways, Nikon Z8, best camera of 2023 easily. So I have no idea what Jordan's decided to put behind me. I'm sure it's incredibly flattering. But anyways, we wanted to green screen Alex Mitchell and put some fun stuff behind him. So we're using the Westcott 8x24 green screen. You can pull this thing right under people's feet. It's fantastic. We're using the Westcott X-Drop stand to hold it all up. And it's very easy and very quick to set up. So we love it. It's working great for the best and worst of episode. Westcott has always been our preferred lighting partner at Petapixel. Okay, so now is the time of the competition where these guys have exquisite coordination. So we're going to get them to play a little game we like to call lens pong. All right, All right fellas, we've got some fairly bog standard beer pong. Lens, lens pong, pong, yeah. Okay, I won here. this last time, that's no indicator because so I'm sucking wind. To be day. clear, the ball has to be at rest inside the lens okay. for you to win okay. that lens, okay? I'm at, so. the, I'm at the burping phase and like the deep sigh phase, so I don't know, man. I don't Give know. it a shot, man, I so believe in you. We're gonna okay. kick it off here with the 150 to 400, a $7,500 lens. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to drop a yeah dirty rubber ball into okay. it. Yeah, OM systems would be proud. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're just going to take turns. Right. I'm going to let okay. you guys handle okay. this. Okay. okay. I feel like the wood table adds a big variable because it's not exactly level. I feel like you're a bad loser. Yeah, I think you're a bad winner, actually. <laughs> Tell us in the comments. Oh. Okay. Go I'll pick it up. No way. Cool. No way, man. See me grab it out of the air like that, like a champ? Oh. 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 This is this is not this is the most annoying. This is not thing. a good the harbinger for the rest. Of the oh. oh, all right. This okay. is just my day. Maybe it's your morning person. So while you're trying to do this, I want to talk about the best trend. Oh, 
oh. cameras this year. It's global shutter. I mean, that's the whole thing. We have global shutter and full frame cameras It's not now. even shipping till next year. It doesn't, so. it doesn't matter. It's been it's been launched. We played Just with play it. Just play the I game had it in my talk. hands. I, I used Do both it. simultaneously. Oh, oh, I was wrong. That's going to be a tough one, man. Uh, what do you think the worst trend is this year, Chris? Um, you winning this freaking game. Oh, I'm going to say, like... Product launches where they almost bald face yes. <laughs> lie about everything. Okay, well that's that's you know you just throw the lens. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so you picked this one. This is so ridiculous. This isn't gonna have. This is the Sigma 14 mil. Stop 1. it! No, 4. stop it! It's, no, stop it! Why? Because I've been drinking. Yes. <laughs> oh. What if we just agreed that our friendship is unbreakable and this game is, is that, unwinnable? Is it? All right, that's a flag on the play. There's no way that you guys are going to get in this 14. <laughs> no. Seeing as Jordan has already gotten two of the three lenses anyway. There's no point. I think we're going to call it. This round goes to Jordan. Wow. The worst things now. Oh, Let's Jordan's go. favorite. Worst cameras of the year. Yep. Worst right. at games. <laughs> I hope the internet sees just how big a dick this guy is. You know, you're always giving me such a hard time, but did you just see that multiple times throughout this video? Thank you. And he's gonna edit it out so he looks like a freaking angel. Okay, so now it's time to do worst video camera of 2023, but let's talk about some dishonorable mentions first. Now again, we're only talking about products that we've personally reviewed ourselves. And really, it's not that there's any bad video cameras on the market for 2023 that we've tested. It's more so, what were they trying to do and what did they actually achieve? So first off, the Meta Sunglasses. An interesting idea, the concept being that you can record memories, you know, wearing these glasses. But I just feel like you could do oh, that with a smartphone beard. anyways. I forgot my beard too. The fact that the camera is orientated on the left side of the glass orientated? That's a word we've already had this discussion. <laughs> orientated is a <laughs> word. Is the fact that at arm's length, everything's in a great composition, but farther away, everything's off to the right. And if you don't compensate, you're the other problem is this, our eyes see horizontally, but the frame is vertical like a smartphone, so it's very confusing. You gotta turn your head like this if you wanna take horizontal video, which is how all videos should be recorded anyways. So the next problem is the Fuji GFX100 version two. Now, it's great that Fuji put all these features in this camera. Yes, it is the most hybrid of all medium format cameras, but I've always said there's no replacement for displacement. In this case, I would far prefer a turbocharged, compact, lower megapixel sensor that can give me the same horsepower because it's just the fault of the big 100 megapixel sensor. It's not ideal for video. It's slow. Any sort of regular resolution that you want to record, even 8K, you're still throwing away information, you're line skipping, it's bad news, and it's still not a fast enough readout for it. The fact of the matter is, a lot of their APS-C cameras will give you better video capabilities than this very expensive GS100 F version 2. Levi, so, has he been talking for five minutes? Anyways, <laughs> it's a great camera and concept, but it's just too big a sensor for what it's trying to do for video. Anyways, kudos to them for even trying. All right, the worst video camera of the year is going to go to the Sony ZV-1 Mark II because with every advancement they made, they took two steps back. So when they announced it, they're like, it has a new wider lens. And we said, great. And then they said, and we took off the stabilizer. So if you want to stabilize the footage, it will incur a significant crop. But that's not all. They're like, and we've got a new lens with a different lens range, but now it's slower. So it's actually worse. I mean, honestly, for the vast majority of the people, I would say get a Sony Z v1 it's less money it's a little bit older but this didn't bring a whole lot to the table it's just a perfect example of confusing camera design gone horribly awry i'm sorry it's getting loud in here because it's like no hours where normal people would come drink at a bar i've played okay i've played this game before this looks familiar okay so this is guess who but obviously camera it's edition. guess who camera edition okay. so you have to each guess who the other person has in their mind right. for their camera. So are you gonna like tell us what camera we are? I'm gonna tell each of you which camera. Uh, let's start with the obvious. Are you a full frame camera? I am a full frame you camera. You are a full frame camera. Uh, da, da, da. Da 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 Is the is the Blackmagic 6K a full frame camera? 
That's not. You should know that. Why would I know that? We did a review. On that? Uh, I don't recall it's, that it's, at all. It's not a full frame camera, Okay, Chris. thank you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, um, I was going to say, is it black? And then I realized that would be a silly <laughs> thing to say. So I'm also going to do, is your camera full frame? Oh, the same question. Yes, yes, I am a full frame camera. Neat. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, God, what do I want to ask? I have to ask a second question. Uh, do you have, do you have, uh, do you have a, are you, are you a t uh, 24 <laughs> megapixel camera? Uh, I am not a 24 megapixel camera. Okay, okay, your turn. Okay, uh, Chris, are you primarily a photo camera? What does that mean? What does that mean in today's world? There's no such thing as primarily a photo camera. I am not primarily a photo camera. Does your company also make uh, photocopiers? Uh, my company also makes photocopies. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, I think you're a Canon R5C. Damn it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Stop it. No, I don't like it. No, okay. Worst camera of the year. Yes. So we started thinking about dishonorable mentions, but I kept getting distracted because the winner was so obvious. It was all I could go to. Chris, what is the worst camera of the year? It's a Canon EOS R100, and here's why. Um, I just don't know if there's a time and place for very bare bones cameras. I mean, the SR1 is an APS-C sensor. They basically stripped everything out of it, right? And we did test it. I just feel like we're in a world and an age where smartphones are very competitive. And although it does give people an entry level gateway drug into interchangeable lenses, I don't feel like it's quite there. I mean, it just felt very stripped down, very basic. Okay. What do you think? I feel I like you explained anymore. it badly, the reasons okay. that we don't like this. So okay. the reasons I don't like this camera, they're like, oh, it's a camera for people coming up from their smartphones. That's does what I a, said. Does it have a touch screen? No. no. It does not have a touch screen. Does it have any vaguely compelling video? Video features. It no. crops when it goes to 4K. No, not at it's, all. it's not good. No. Okay. Um, it's like you at winning. There was a terrible there was and a, rude. There was a second reason that I had for really thinking it was a silly camera, and it slipped on me. I mean, the autofocus is very. It just felt like a camera that you get from years and years and years ago. Yeah. Okay. So it that did, was the other thing. Okay. So they that's had my idea, though. Everybody. A Canon M50 yeah. came out like five years, six years ago, and that's a better camera for people coming from a smartphone at this point because Preach. it's got the touch screen on it. Uh, it's got a fully articulating yeah, screen. Have a Not screen. as like full, stuck to the back bull Curious to wonder how many people have actually gone out and got EOS R100s. I'm sure not many. Our and again, I just feel like your money's better spent upgrading to something a little bit more capable. They are really a great you camera. beyond what a smartphone can do. And it me. costs almost nothing. Yes. It's a camera that has no place in the world, no. and uh, it bummed me out when we reviewed it, okay. which is the greatest testament to a worst camera. Okay, EOS R100, I'm sorry, but yeah, just, yeah. just too little, Boo. too late. Boo! Whoa, you don't have to go Princess Bride on the f <laughs> oh, okay. All right, gentlemen, this is another fabulous year for competition. I thought you all did a great job, but unfortunately, I have to crown a single winner, and yes. that is yeah. Jordan Drake, everybody. The I mean, winner of the 2023 I Best think the real worst. winner was friendship this year. No, the real winner was the audience. <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining us, but you're not the only ones that we want to thank. I also want to thank Alex Mitchell, our best referee who we've ever had two you years guys. in a row anyways, yeah. and Levi Hall. Well, for, well, Levi Howell How many have you us. shot, Levi? Do you know offhand? Five, six? How many best and worst have you done? Yeah. Probably six. six. He has He's a six. six. He has yeah. a six per he has like MVP a six perverse best and worst. fascination with watching us drunk. Also, big thanks to Graham uh, and the Toolshed crew for hosting us here and giving us beer. An amazing and food. Space. It's great. You should check it out. And Alicia, for the, the bartender, for actually still irresponsibly giving me more alcohol. And um, it was a bad yeah, choice. It was frankly. a bad choice. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed our best and worst stuff. We choices. have some cool stuff coming up in 2024 that we're already doing. Do we on. Uh, also, you should probably like listen to our podcast that we yes. record at the same time, like in the morning. It's on the same channel. Afternoon. It's yeah. on the same channel, or you can listen to it on all your favorite podcasting apps. Whether you're doing the dishes or doing laundry, you're you driving can't your car. Stop listening to it, can you, you Alex? Yes. No, it just you know, it's the background noise to my life. Yes, yeah. I think it's the perfect background music for sex. I like you know. 
rekindle your marriage. And cut. Okay. Uh, Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. And we'll see you guys. We'll Sub see you guys. Subscribe after that. Yeah. Sub oh, subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to drink Tool Shed Beer. And thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you in, uh, well, we'll see you before 2024. It's done. It's over. Just stop. Okay. <laughs>